So whenever you use the, the actual stove, it's working. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what it is, is up here on top. They have some like little extra... Oh, oh yeah. yeah. There are a few things I really like this uh, house. One of them is this uh, very wide... Today is an exciting day. We're here for the final home inspection and delivery of this beautiful new home for my client. Let's take a look inside and see what's in store. I also wanted to share a little background on this home search. I've been helping my client find a newly built single family home that offers a spacious layout and a great vibe. At that time, our budget was around $900,000. Yeah, you got a lot of space in there. I like this. And then the floor plan is good too. You have a lot of privacy. You have the bedrooms up there, you have the bedrooms over here to the side, and the master bedroom tucked away as well. Mm. So they did, they used their, their space very well. This is a better way. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We searched all over Chino Hills, Ontario, Eastvale, and Rancho Cucamonga. But the properties in that price range were either too old or had very high multi-level builds with narrow lots. Some of them didn't feel spacious and you could see your neighbor right away from the windows. Look up as well. Yeah, I like this one. <laughs> While newer homes still held good value, I suggested a better option to my client. Since my client doesn't have kids and isn't concerned about school districts, I found a brand new single level home in Harupa Valley with a spacious lot, exactly what he was looking for, and at a great value. It turned out to be the perfect solution. Well, that's the kind of outcome I strive for with all my clients. This room and then the other front room, they have data lines, okay, so the data port. So you plug into that, it's like plugging into the back of the internet router, you'll get fast internet speeds. Yes. Okay, you have to do it. You know yeah. Wow. This is one of your AC return filters. But there's one here, and there's another one in the master bedroom. Which is For the air conditioning system. Okay, you want to replace this filter every three or four months. I wish three or four months. Yeah. Because it'll start to get dirty, and oh. then it won't allow the air conditioning and the heater to work as efficiently. Gotcha. That okay, makes yeah, sense. Because you have something in the closet, right? Exactly. It'll kind of choke the air off to the system. Yeah. So. At least three or four months. Well, I can do it myself, right? Yes. Yeah. Just a plug and yeah. Just... You get a ladder. So these little tabs, you just pull those little tabs down. The, the gate will swing open, and you can pull the filter out. Then you can please make new filter. New filter. Let's right. buy a new Home Depot or Lowe's. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Yes. 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 With the toilets as well, um, in the sewer system, for the first thirty days, we warranty any backups. So if you have a backup in the toilet within the first thirty days, let us know. We'll send the plumbers out to get that corrected. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so you mean if I have any issues with this particular correct? Any one. Just this one, any of the toilets, oh, or the showers, if the water's not draining correctly, let us know. We'll get the plumbers out. So any issues with the next room as well? You have a data line and then your coax as well. Oh. While we were waiting for the home's delivery, the builder hosted a national sales event with some great deals. I saw an opportunity and negotiated a price match during the sale, which saved him an additional $40,000. Oh, this is really nice. <laughs> it's beautiful. A piece. It's really huge. I know this is beautiful. Come on top. I, I, I really like this one. Go. In the end, we secured this home for under $900,000 and is now valued at around $1.2 million. So he ended up saving close to 15 to 20% while getting a property that's already appreciated significantly. No, this one you don't need to. Perfect. You see? So fancy. Yeah. I like it. So fancy. And then you have the pop filler as well. Yeah. Okay. I like that. Very nice. And then we can test your food pot. So whenever you use the, the actual stove, the cooktop, you want to make sure you turn on the fans. Okay, so it exhausts all the heat out. And then we do get trash bins as well. So in here, we still have trash bins. So we have to get those installed for you also. Okay, we right. have to come deliver. Okay. okay. And then you do have the soft flows hinges. Going back to the inspection, we walk through the home together, checking every detail to make sure everything meets the highest standards. 
you have any issues with the appliances, you just gotta contact GE directly and they'll basically ask for like the model or the serial number of whatever appliance you're calling in about. Okay. And normally you can find that like on the inside of the door. Okay. And you give them that number and then they'll schedule a time you right over the phone to come out and see what's going on with the appliance. Okay. Okay. We inspect the living room, kitchen, and open areas. We're looking at the finishes, lighting, and the functionality of every space. Built-in fridge. Built-in fridge. We go through each feature, from kitchen cabinets and countertops to the state-of-the-art appliances. It's all about ensuring everything is exactly how the client envisioned it. And then your garbage disposal switch. And for the light, you're going to go to your And that also is, has a screen to do, right? Correct. All the windows will have a screen. Okay. And even your sliding window right here, your sliding door okay. has a screen on both sides. Perfect. Close. I won't give it to you for your ceiling fan. Okay. okay. So if you get a ceiling fan that has a light, just make sure that the light is hooked up to the dimmer switch. The inspection covers functionality too, testing windows, lightings, and making sure everything operates smoothly, just like it should in a brand new home. There you go. <laughs> and then I was trying to test this earlier, but the heater's not working. Okay, so the heating is default to control the temperature. Correct. Yeah. So I have it set right now at 63 degrees in here. Okay, it's set to 68, but it's not kicking on. Why? So the heating air conditioning company, they probably have to hook up the gas line or turn the gas line on. And then it'll start working, but they have to come out and still do that. Okay, so this will be just, yeah. Yeah, this one. Well, yeah, this will be done. This is very important. Mm -hmm. I don't want that. So we'll make sure they come out and get yeah, that. Yeah, control temperature is very important. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this, this is going to be not going to take a long time, right? No, that's fast. That was real fast. Sure. Okay. And then another carbon monoxide smoke detector before you come into the bedroom. Okay. And then you have your other PC return filter right here. Under the place, I mean, for every months. three, four months. Correct. And bunch of light switches here. So the first one would be for the lights in your room. The second one for that upside down outlet over there. Okay, for the floor lamp or the nightstand lamp. And then these two are for the pre wire for the ceiling fan. Okay. One thing I noticed about the shower is right here in the grill. As far as the crack, so let me make sure we get that grill filled in. Okay, but I'll test the shower until we here. Access. Um, this is where the furnace is going to be for the heating and air conditioning system will be up through here. So if you need the service, it would have to go through there to get access to it. Okay. And then right there, that's your smart panel hub. <laughs> so all the internet, um, the little blue ethernet cables that we've seen throughout the house, mm -hmm. all the coax for the cable, they all lead back into here. Okay. okay. And your smart panel hub. And then that's when you get internet service, they'll come over here, open that up, and hook everything up for you. If he wants to add a like an electric, oh, I guess we can just open up that wall and like have a plug on the other side. Oh, yeah, 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 just open up the other side and put like for a day or something. Yeah, 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 you can just tap over the existing electricity. That's okay. Yeah, so right now, whatever you tap into, uh, let's say if that plug stops working or the circuit that that plug is on doesn't work anymore, uh, then it falls on the his electrician that comes out to do it, falls on him to get that up there. Okay. That's, yeah. Anything that you tap into, you basically void the warranty on that particular item. Okay. So, another thing though, with your laminate flooring, one thing you don't want to use to clean it would be like a steam mop. Okay. Any type of steam or hot, hot, hot steam mop. Yeah. Steam or hot water or too much water is not good for the floor. Oh. Okay. Because what happens is it starts to penetrate uh, behind the joints down to where it locks and clicks in place. So that's bare wood. And then that wood gets wet, it swells, and it doesn't allow it to put your paper. So what's all the what's all the protection? You can use uh, swifters, or you can use a mop with water. But you want to make sure you wring out the mop really good. You take a lot of the water out of it. Okay, okay. Don't make it too wet. Yeah, not too wet. Too wet is no good for you. Okay. Ah, then this door is closed. Then you know this door. This door is closed. Yeah. Okay. 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 Beautiful view. Yeah. Wow. 
Nice. I'm so excited for you. Thank you for your due diligence. No problem. Oh, this one, the sticker too. Yes. <laughs> Can they also help us surface this thing? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. Look at that. Jeremy, make a note about that. We had that happen in in Lenar, similar. Oh, really? Check. I think it's. I'm so you like this jar because you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm going to So what it is is up here on top. Okay, this needs to be trimmed down. It's just too long. Oh, it's causing it to, to yeah. rub to the top of the frame. So you need to fix it. Yeah, I'm making note about it right now. Yeah. Let me put a tag on it. Hey, you see, this is two. He, this is the middle. Don't. Hey. Oh, that's one thing. Yeah, this is uh, this needs to be fixed. Yeah, we'll shave that down. Perfect. But I like this yard because you can see this like a snow slump. Oh yeah, yeah, you got a good view from back there. See, snow. But I, you know, this is really cool. Yeah, beautiful. Wow. This, this, you this side is like this. Yes. 那有时候有他会因为这里有一点出来凸出来一点点，那有些人关的时候，他就是会这样刮。哦，对。所以你要关的时候，你关小一点，放进来，再这样。对，就是不然你常刮，他们受伤。对，没事。而且你每一个这个
Now, we work Monday through Friday. This is going to be, I'm going to put it in your No, no, I'm saying this is going to be about you for the next high year. For one year. So, so one year. One year fi- finished warranty, but you do have a 10 year structural warrant. Okay. And then this one is our after hours emergency number. So after 4 p.m. and on the weekends, so somebody can assist you. Okay. We upgraded it to match my client's personal preferences. Every detail has been custom made to his liking, making this home feel just like a model home, but even better. Okay. And then some information for you about high winds and wind driven rain. Mm-hmm. Okay, because we get a lot of the wind driven rain around here, especially high winds oh, in this area. Oh, hold on, hold on. So this is maintenance reminders. So just different things to do throughout the year, oh, just okay. to make sure everything in the house is running smoothly. Okay, so like lubricate the garage door, um, lubricate the hinges and the locks on the doors. You know, drain the water heater, oh. um, clean the aerators on the you know the shower head and stuff. Like, very simple stuff to do. Just put so I can do them myself, right? So this, Correct. Yeah, you will do your stuff like a routine stuff. Yes, absolutely. So I'll throw all this in this folder for you. Can I add a uh, uh, absolutely touch up on the mm-hmm. baseboard here? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna go through also. If yeah. I see anything additional, I'm gonna put a tag on it. Sounds great. Thank this you. is for you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your time. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. To this day, my client is happily living in this home, enjoying the space and comfort it offers. For anyone thinking about their next move, reach out to me. Realtor Tom Seng, your local friendly realtor in Southern California, and let's make your dream home a reality.